Halloween is just around the corner. Are you ready? I'm here with Ricky Ortiz from Zombie Charge Houston, and he's going to show us a little bit of how to apply some scary makeup. Hi, Ricky. Thanks for joining us. Um, so what is one of the first things you're going to be doing as far as makeup-wise? Well, first of all, we're going to use what we call a Tinsley Transfer. It's a FX prosthetic that goes on as easy as uh, one of those little fake tattoos that you get at the uh, coin machine. Um, it only takes uh, 30 seconds to apply. Peel off the... Uh, Clear film. And you see the uh, transfers right there, and it's a, I could say it's like a fake tattoo, but it's three dimensional, so it looks pretty cool. So you apply it onto her face. I'm going to do it right here. Turn a little bit. So you can't look to see. So just like that, and then you want to get a, like a damp sponge and rub it on there. For about like 30 seconds or so, make sure the whole backing is wet. Because you want to make sure the, uh, the prosthetic sticks on. <laughs> And then you got these from just a regular store, right? These you could get um, from Party City. Oh. And so if I was just a person at home, where could I find all the other supplies for makeup? All the other supplies you can get just pretty much anywhere at a Halloween shop. If you're using latex, fake blood. Um, even like if you want to add a little color as far as some greens or skin tones, you could even go to the uh, makeup shop. If not, you can get a color palette um, like I have back here. Um, it's a makeup called Mayron, and it's a paint on, um, paint on, or brush on, sorry, brush on paint that you use. And it's a water color, it's a, not water color, water-based paint. So it comes off with a shower, get some soap, scrub it off, you know, just as simple as that. But it does last long, um, so it'll go on uh, throughout the party, if that's where you're going, for example. Nice. So you see, it sticks on here. Uh, they are very fragile, so you got to be careful sometimes with the edges. But thankfully, we're going with the zombie look, so sometimes like a little torn up skin um texture will go a long way oh so i didn't mention earlier the colors that i choosing to use for uh this demo here it's obviously white and some black i'm actually throwing in some browns uh, for some darker areas and also help blend in uh the white you know kind of get that um intermediate color between the white and her flesh tones um and at the end i'll throw in some red and we'll go on to using some of the airbrush for like uh to get this kind of veiny appearance to it as well so yeah, a lot of this, you know, is basic. You know, once you get that transfer on there, you just work around it with makeup and add all your colors on there as well uh, with, you know, uh, brush on paint or you, like I say, you could find, you could use makeup, probably some cheap makeup, nothing expensive like uh, CoverGirl, I guess. I don't know how expensive that is, but um, as long as uh, you get something that, you know, that you know is, uh, that has good reviews, especially if you look online or Amazon, it's where I get a lot of my, uh, materials, always look at reviews, that's one thing I've been taught, look at reviews and see what people say, you know, and then go from there. It's, it's, it's a tough course. You know, but if you're really into doing these races and obstacle courses, then you'll, you know, you'll have a great time. It's, that's what it's mostly about, fitness. And beer at the end. And beer at the end. <laughs> and zombies. <laughs> but yeah, about having a good time, you know, while you're doing it. All right, so we are pretty much done here, actually. Um, let's show the camera over here. So like I said, we use a Tinsley stencil um, for the uh, prosthetic and then went over it with some paint. Um, with some face paint, uh, just, uh, again, I chose, uh, brown, black, white, and red for my, uh, for my palette as far as, uh, for her zombie makeup. Um, and then at the end, just to add, like, this, uh, cracked and veiny look, I did use a stencil and airbrush for that as well. So it's just three basic steps. It's just the, uh, Tinsley stencil, then makeup, 
and then you know airbrush if you have it and of course at the end just do some blood splatter on it all right everyone i hope you found out some more tips and tricks about how to apply some zombie makeup and if you still need some extra help on how to look super scary go visit ricky ortiz at zombie charge november 4th at 9 30 that wave start and then you'll feel good about it too because 10 percent of the proceeds go to the american red cross gulf coast disaster relief fund my name is jeanette perez and this is news for cougs